think today, in today's world, that we're so separated from the food gathering and the products that we eat that we forget in the concept that something's giving up its life for us to, to survive. And I think that that's a, 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 something that separates us from being some at times to be able to, to move forward and to, you know, to move forward spiritually because you're, you seem to be so caught up in not in, a, you know, feeling that under, or, or living that understanding yes. because you're separated from it at such a distance. Like yes. in, in, you know, with the tribal cultures and with all that, that, that was yes. part of their everyday, yes. you know, what they did and, and they gave thanks and, 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 you know, for what was given to them constantly. Yes. So as we have evolved, we have gotten away from nature. Our life has been superficial, but in a way there was no other solution because with population increase, if you have dairy and provide locally in local, there will be lots of starvation. Mm -hmm. So they found artificial means, you know, we can get all kind of fruits and vegetables year round, but suppose modern right. technology was not there, that most of the world would starve. See so things. So ultimately, we have to have reverence for life. We have to go to natural ways. But people become too occupied to change the natural way. For example, world is constantly moving. If you don't move along the along with the flow, you will perish. You know, like I don't want to use computer. You know, I don't want to use phone. I don't want to use electricity, you know, just like that. Right. What would happen? Amish people stayed very stagnant. So we have to learn to flow with life and life cycle goes on. So we have to flow along to evolve. But still we maintain our inner stillness. Some people become very fanatic that say, I become vegetarian. But somebody questioned, vegetables also have life. And how can you stop? And then, okay, stay on by breathing, but there are so many germs you are killing. Mm -hmm. So this is why answer is in Bhagavad Gita. And they say, Jivo Jiva Se Bojanam. Life thrives upon life. So this is what Americans Indian did. They killed the animal to eat, killed only whatever they need, and then prayed to God. So this is our prayer that I put in yellow book that one should meditate on that or pray that Om Brahmarpanam Brahmahavi Brahmagnau Brahmanahutam Brahmaiva Tena Gantavyam Brahma Karma Samadhina The food is Brahman This part is Brahman Stomach is Brahman Everything Brahman goes to Brahman Actually there is no violence because universe cycles that way See if we look at it Life won't survive if dog did not eat cat and cat did not eat mouse and mouse did not eat mm -hmm. bugs. The thing here, violence comes when with intention you kill life. That is where problem comes. If we have no need to, we don't hurt. So this is what we should follow. But when there is necessity, pray and do that. So really. Vivekananda, Swami Vivekananda says, and great master says, don't worry so much about what goes in the mouth, but think about what comes out of the mouth. Mm -hmm. There is greater violence mm -hmm. in, a, you know, harsh speech. You can hurt so many people. So this can, but definitely we have to be in rhythm with nature. But the, just population increase and all these things are changing. And... If we become stagnant, we perish, you know, just in any business. Like, I, so people don't have any computer. And if you have any question, go online and get that. You cannot get form from government anymore. You know, go online. So you have to learn all these things. So this is why we live in the world wisely. Use it, but don't get caught into it. 
or simplicity is use the things that you are master of it and not the slave of it see so so many things people are slave to it there are so many gadgets so many gadgets and the gadgets preoccupy them you know their mind doesn't work just push button okay. and so many times people email me or send me on facebook and if i don't see facebook or this you know i won't get the message so call directly so there are two aspect one is main thing i say god gave us human body which has more privileges than animal body animals don't have intellect and consciousness that we have we can choose the direction and experience please so don't waste human life like i said in the bhajan saying in the bhajan that human life is to question who am i where am i going animals have no choice they have instinct for survival and the example i give you have regular phone and you use it that's fine but somebody gave you smartphone and you use only for calling isn't that foolishness okay that is one side other thing is if you are smart phone but you get preoccupied and it waste your time and you don't accomplish anything then you are slave to smart phone mm-hmm. so use the gadgets that give you joy and no bondage as so many people are slave to these tools and this is the negative side so we have to flow with life we have to maintain the center use whatever we need instead of being programmed by outside and we can simplify our life so many ways and everyone's life is different so like i don't, i don't like anything but i'm using camera right but then it is a good tool for me to spread my message because people don't read the books but so many people they say keep on writing facebook i see they see youtube video and you know, there's so many so many read don't read doesn't matter for me i don't become upset because they don't watch it i don't get elated because people this is my way of service but how can i serve when shankaracharya time you know and just uh, even kabir stai and guru nanak stai they had to travel on foot in all to spread the message today the situation is different we become stagnant then we perish so we have to flow along with life see so we have to adapt old you know american indian culture or primitive culture but primitive culture is gone it's not no more there so we have to adapt it in our own lifestyle because if we become stagnant then we are living in the past we are not growing so amish people perished you know they won't take and all these things because they won't use the doctor and all this and some people are strong enough to follow that but everyone is not ready and they suffer because they blindly follow saint francis of assisi he was a spiritual master and he taught all the masses but masses of followed they were not ready for it what he was teaching so masses of people follow this is why you should be grounded and rely on yourself